Alzheimer's disease. It's a type of dementia that kills neurons in the brain, causing progressive memory loss, motor deficits, and eventually death. It occurs in approximately 10% of the population above 65 and almost 50% of the population above 85. Two identifying characteristics within the brain are the buildup of amyloid plaques and the presence of neurofibrillary, neurofibrillary tangles. These tangles are dying neurons with intracellular accumulations of tau protein. The amyloid plaques are caused when the beta amyloid precursor protein produces a defective form of a beta amyloid peptide. The heredity the hereditary version of this disease makes up only 1% of Alzheimer's sufferers and occurs when there is a mutation of the gene that expresses the beta amyloid precursor protein. Alzheimer's researchers simulate this form of the disease within mice to provide models, as experimentation on live human brains is just not cool. Postmortem brains only exhibit the symptoms present at the final stages of the disease, so are not representative of the developmental process. Currently, at St Andrews University, a group of scientists with a diverse range of expertise are using mice models, amongst other methods, to carry out extensive research into mechanisms of Alzheimer's. We talked to Dr. Eva Borger, whose particular area of research focuses on the beta amyloid peptide, which interacts with two proteins in the mitochondria, amyloid binding alcohol dehydrogenase, or ABAD, and cyclophilin D. When there are low concentrations of this beta amyloid, these proteins both play beneficial and protective roles. However, when the peptide concentration increases, its interaction with cyclophilin D can eventually cause cell death. ABAD's protective qualities are lost too and beta amyloid toxicity is enhanced. The interaction of beta amyloid and ABAD also promotes the upregulation of yet another two proteins, one of which is endophilin 1. In normal concentrations, endophilin plays a part in the reuptake of vesicles in synapses. By using dye to track the vesicles, the scientists at St. Andrews discovered that increasing endophilin concentration in neural cells increased this reuptake. In non-neural cells, however, the increase in concentration triggers stress signaling pathways, which after being activated for a long time causes the cell to die. At St. Andrews, they are hoping to determine if endophilin protein in the brains of Alzheimer's patients is present in the correct areas and is functioning as it should. The binding of the beta amyloid protein occurs in a specific D loop of the ABAD protein. This loop has been recreated in a decoy peptide which is able to prevent the binding of beta amyloid to ABAD through competitive inhibition. Transgenic mice treated with this decoy peptide had improved short term memory and cell culture showed decreased apoptosis. However, drug development is an incredibly costly and timely procedure and so despite the promising observations made, the drug must still undergo more extensive trials. Bye! Bye now!